back again with another video and today I'm going to be giving you guys something very valuable and it's not much that's more important than your workspace. Having a sloppy and all over the place workspace will slow you down and make your designs take longer to create and who wants that? Nobody, right? So I'm going to show you my workspace, how I design and break down why I chose each and every place for everything to fit on my workspace. <laughs> So this is my workspace. I know for some it might seem a little cluttered, but the way I work, I like to have everything accessible to where I don't have to go dig in multiple menus to click on exactly what I'm trying to find. I like everything to be somewhat front and center. Now I will say that if you have a smaller screen, it might look a little too cluttered, but uh, with the screens I have and the way I work, I, this is perfect for me. Now the OCD in me, uh, made me go and organize all of my toolbar as you can notice in this one it's actually two columns so you have one side and one side instead of just one straight down side um, all of the tools are readily available there's none like left over like here in the edit toolbar there's nothing left over so you basically have access to every tool that Photoshop has all on the side and I also organize them pretty much by you know what do they do and how you use them so I have a lot of my selection tools you know over here I have my shapes and my you know prop tool the new tool you know pen tool next to the lasso and all kind of stuff like that have the text together as well as other things like the smudge which works for me you know so I know exactly when I go look into the panel I know exactly the area of where what I'm looking for is going to be and I don't have to just look up up and down and try to recognize what icon is what also next to my toolbar panel i have a panel of all of the things that i use a lot in my designs i like to use a lot of styles because i make style packs i have a lot of different text styles so that has to be readily accessible for me i also use a lot of different gradients and uh i have a lot of safe patterns and stuff and you know especially when you're making a lot of packs you're going to need different patterns uh, I just like to have all of that stuff quickly accessible. I like to have my history accessible, so I really need to go back like seven or eight steps. I don't have to hit Control Z, you know, a bunch of times. I can just click right here on the history and just go and select exactly where I want to go. And I feel like that's the most important thing of creating a workspace that works, you know. Now, on this side, I have my color, I like the color wheel. I also have my characters for my text. Like, I use this panel a lot, so. You know having it quickly accessible next to where the text will be in the layers um, I use my properties panel a lot as well so like you know when I remove backgrounds or you know select subjects or you know when you got a selected mask and use that panel as well and I use a lot of layers especially when you design the clothes and design the t-shirts a lot of the times you use a lot of layers especially if you're doing stuff for like image altering and stuff like that layers just pile up so I don't like having layers like just constricted you know just like halfway down here and something else sitting on top I like it to stretch my whole entire screen you know I can see more of my project that's going on with the way my screen is set up I still have enough space to you know say if I want to duplicate the artboard I'm designing the front and the back of a t-shirt or something like that I can just you know duplicate it boom I still have enough space to see both and you know compare both like compare colors and stuff like that I like to have the rulers active as well just so you know you can kind of see exactly where everything is is it matched up perfectly is it lined up perfect took a while for me to set up but um, now that I have it you know set up exactly to where I wanted to you know it's kind of like a relief in a way you know I back it up I back up my workspace like three times just you know just in case something goes corrupt you know I can just pull up the other one and uh be right back ready to go because nothing worse than something corrupted in Photoshop and then you have to come in and redrag this over here redrag this exactly where you have it like that's annoying so you know I like to save it and have it ready to go so like when I come in here I'm not really playing around I can get exactly to where I want to get to and you know not really have to think about too much you know it'll just be like second nature I'm just moving click 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 or whatever so yeah I've actually uh, saved my workspace and if you like it and you think this would you know fit your design style better uh, load it up and uh, you know try it out if you like it cool keep it like that or if you know if you like some stuff but you want to have this over here or you want to move a couple things 
move it however you want to. This is just how I like to set up my stuff. Uh, you can change it to however you want to, or you know, if you're used to something being in a certain spot and you want to move it, like say for example, you don't like the organization I did here, you can just come here to the edit toolbar, or you can just go to edit right there into the toolbar, and you can just drag and drop, drag and drop, and move everything the way you want it to. Um, I just felt like this would help some people because you don't really see too many people in the t-shirt design space give away or pay a lot of attention to their workspace you know working for like i said working faster is always a plus the link to download this workspace is in the description um, like i said it's free all you got to do is go to my website click the link download and uh yeah see y'all in the next one